Remember all those times he's walked on by these past 18 months or so? Well, in recent days, Trump's been answering those pesky shouted questions. I think it'll be very interesting. I assume most of you will be there. And feel free to come in or call. Oh, this week he feels free. Trump's been on the phone a whopping 67 minutes with his friends at Fox. We've done more in less than two years than any president in the history of our country. Remember that between February last year and June this year, there was not a single solo press conference. Then, late last month, a freewheeling affair he relished. This is let Trump be Trump in action. And when he's not suddenly talking again with reporters, those rallies roll on. I'm not on the ticket, but I am on the ticket. But. Trump is holding so many rallies right now, and they're no longer being televised live. Fox has grown tired of them. So I wonder if President Trump's going to try to create new kinds of TV moments. Um, this week? Uh-oh, I got the mic. Kid Rock at the White House, <laughs> plays to the base. Kanye came as well. When I put this hat on, it made me feel like Superman. A rapper from a demo Trump struggles to court right wearing a MAGA yeah. hat. Yeah. With the much maligned and masterfully yeah. milked yeah. media snapping it up, position. doing it live. In June, Trump hired Roger Ailes, erstwhile number two at Fox News, Bill Shine, as his new comms chief. Is this all Shine's idea? I think at the end of the day, these sorts of tactics are all Trump. Right now, he's using the media in order to promote his accomplishments heading into the midterm elections. And this was a good week to go big. Bruised Brett Kavanaugh confirmed to the Supreme Court, NAFTA renegotiated, the unemployment rate as low as it's been since 69. Maybe Kanye got it right. Trump is on his hero's journey right now, and he might not have expected to have a crazy mother like Kanye West run up and uh, support 